The blue shirts have been balling. So let's talk some New York hockey with New York Post Rangers beat reporter Molly Walker. Uh, we can talk about the Rangers that don't play in Texas. Our, uh, our producer wrote that in the, uh, in the prompter, so I had to read that. Happy New Year, Molly. Uh, let's talk about one of the storylines that everyone's been talking about surrounding this team. Last night, we saw the NHL debut of top prospect Brennan Othman. No goals, no assists for him, but he recorded five shots on goal. So what did you see from the youngster that fans should be excited for with his future with this team? I think he more than held his own. Um, I also think it was maybe a bit of a surprise that he got a call up. Uh, Adam Edstrom is week to week with an injury, so that made Brennan Othman the next man up. And I think he handled it really well. You know, he, he had a game high five shots on goal, so he wasn't afraid to shoot the puck. Um, he made things happen. Peter Laviolette said he was positively noticeable all night long. So that's only a positive sign for, for the top prospect for the Rangers. So let's talk about this team as a whole, because after last night's win over the Blackhawks, the Rangers are now 10-1-0 following losses. Good teams bounce back. So what is it about this team that makes them so resilient? I think the most impressive thing has been their preparations for these second matchups against teams and and, and just in general coming off of losses and identifying what, what, what went wrong in that game and, and what they can do to fix it. They kind of go to school on their opponents under Peter Laviolette, and that's been definitely a treat this entire season. Their preparations have been, it sounds like they're pretty, pretty extensive. So it's just, they get almost offended when they lose. <laughs> it's, it's, it's truly, unlike anything I've ever seen, they come out with a vengeance after losses, and it's almost like their, it's their personal mission to make up for it the following game, and that record obviously speaks for itself. Yeah. And after, That's what after great teams, good teams do it, great teams do it, and to be able to bounce back in any professional league truly shows grit and uh, resiliency when it comes to culture within a team. Uh, another guy that's been playing pretty well, forward Vincent Trocek. My man has been earning his check, 11 points in the last nine games, and he recorded three assistances, as I like to call them, last night. He's second on the team with 27 assists this season. How valuable has he been for the Rangers, especially since Philip Heedle continues to be out? Yeah, you just mentioned it right there, the fact how well he stepped into that second line center role since Philip Heedle went down earlier this season has just been so invaluable for the Rangers. That second line has been a powerhouse for them all season, and they have not missed a beat going from Philip Heedle to Vincent Trocek. And I, this is the most consistent I've seen Vincent Trocek maybe in his career. I mean, he's got just so many multi-point performances it's become almost a nightly thing for him and he's playmaking he's just finding his line mates in open ice non-stop it's uh and leading the team in face-off win percentage as well which is a huge turnaround for the team in general so he's been absolutely huge for them this season all right, next up on the schedule, the Rangers are going to face the Canadians up in the 5-1-4, Montreal. The Habs have won one in their last five games, but they are hungry for a big win. How do the Rangers come back with another W? Very similar to the Chicago game. I think it's important for any of these top-tier teams not to play down to their mm -hmm. opponents. We saw that from the Rangers at the Garden against the Blackhawks last night. They just had their way with them through all three zones for a majority of the night, and I think that's what the Rangers have to stick to going to Montreal this weekend. Are you surprised that the Rangers are sitting at 26-10-1 this year? At this I, point? I, I wouldn't call it a surprise. I think that Peter Laviolette has, has a really good pulse on this team, and he's really been a motor for them almost, and it's not surprising at all. I think the foundation has always been there, and it just was a matter of putting it all together and, and having a very – strict structure and system all right hashtag no quitting ny uh molly walker thanks for joining us and happy new year thanks happy new year